Hello there. Now, way, way back in time, uh, 2019, I think it was, Rupert and I were browsing Google Maps for a good stone circle to visit, as you do, and came across a kind of circular anomaly near the Nine Stones Close Stone Circle in Derbyshire. Thing was, we couldn't find a reference to what the marks in the ground cover might be, and so, being the wannabe antiquarians that we are, we toyed with the idea that we might have found an undiscovered Neolithic henge. Well, what else could we do? Frankly, it would have been rude not to go looking for our henge, so that's what we did. What's more, we made a film about it. Here it is. So, what's crowing about? Where are we? Um, Stone Circle. There we are. So, what's that underneath? What's that down to the what? south? There. Yes, what, that. that there. Oh, blimey. That looks a bit circular to me. I'm not imagining things, am I? There's a bit... No, that's, that's, that's definitely... That's, I've never heard of a henge or anything near Nine Stones or Crackley. There's nothing. We've been up... We've filmed at Nine Stones before. Yeah. There's nothing marked up there. Let me look. I'll tell you what. What if, what if we'd found a henge? I'd love to find a henge. Do you think we should pay a visit? I think we should. <laughs> I think we should. I really think we should. Oh, no. Who are these people? <laughs> Never fear, Stone Squad is here. <laughs> we like our standing in stone hats, but can't help that we give the wrong impression. You know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Here we are. Yeah, that's good. Like a mountain goat. Yeah. Come on, because you're just curious. You're just... Mm. Bloody horse flies. <laughs> you won't be able to see this. I'm not getting down there. What we're... Well... <laughs> but what are we doing here in the middle of the Derbyshire countryside? Well, we're going to go over there. And, uh, Over there, we're hoping to find, um... to illuminate what we saw on Google Maps, uh, which looks like, um, the possibility of a, a ditch which suggests a henge, it being circular and all. So it looks a bit lumpy from here, so not really sort of we're henge not, site. We're not hopeful, but no. it's got to be looked at because it did look quite bizarre on... Uh, well, it didn't look bizarre, it looked very henge-like on the crop yeah, markings on Google it Earth, did. so we'll see what it is. So let's, um, let's go and have a look. Yeah. It's too rocky. Too rocky, yeah. So what the hell is that circle? Yeah, that man of... Oh, just done that thing where you slip and slide in some green stuff. Oh, no. Yes. So, um, we've come to the area where we think there might be something, and we've got our antennae out just a little bit, but this doesn't look to me like the place to find a hench. No. So what I find interesting about it, it, there is a kind of natural plateau here, And I'm going to stop and look at the map again and find out exactly where we are. We're here. Mm -hmm. right, that's the, the, and there's the mm -hmm. circle as defined in the, in the map. You won't be able to see this. Never mind, we're not imagining things. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah. So let us proceed. There is a depression, isn't there? It's just as, I, I, mean, I, I can see the indication of, de of a depression yes. going round there and just round to the actually does it go outside that rock there i think that that rocky bump is yeah. inside it is yeah the circle what does that mean then i don't know i mean the thing is i i am following it and it's, it's very subtle, but there is something there. Um, and it is circular, which wouldn't be natural. But then it's not a, you know, it's, <laughs> if it's a henge, it's a 
Not a hen as we know it. Doesn't look like anything to me. No. An interesting exercise. It was an interesting exercise. Mm -hmm. But we, we can't be as positive about that sighting as we'd like mm. to be, you know, we can't uh, 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 declare victory in this. No, <laughs> it's curious, it's definitely a circular marking in the, in the field, but yeah. too rocky and what have you for it to be a hinge. Yeah, as we know it. Yes. Uh, on the other hand, as I was just saying to, uh, I was just, just saying, if I was going to put uh, a um, I know a gathering spot. Yes, to uh, honour the landscape here. The um, view's great, and of course you've got. Uh, you can't see it because it's behind the uh, tree there. There's uh, Robin Robin Hood's ball and the uh, crack cliff itself, yeah. and we've got uh, the nine stains just over the hill there, just uh, visible from this spot. Yes, can you see that from the, I don't think you can see that from here, can you? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's surrounded by cows. Oh, yes. We'll go down and talk to the cows shortly. Yes, we will. So, talking of, um, of nine mm. stones. Yes, of which there aren't. Of which there aren't. What kind of uh, stone heads are we if we uh, don't um, do this so you don't have to? <laughs> There's a, a lot of uh, letting off of um, gaseous emissions and. Uh, yeah. I don't so know what I think, can we say I about think, this. I think the uh, you know weight of numbers has it here, don't you? What, as in cows or as in yeah, stones? Yeah, I think, I, th I think the cow. The, I think the bullocks are owning the um, owning nine stones for the moment. Well, we can move them out if you want. Yeah, no, I don't think they... so. Because you're just curious. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Roper. <laughs> 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 Bloody horseflies. <laughs> Roper and Michael go looking for a henge, and the most exciting thing that happens is that I get frightened by a swarm of horseflies. It was quite funny, to be fair. Yeah. Um, does it make a film, though? In itself? You being frightened by horseflies? Not really, no. <laughs> so, what are we doing here? How come we're actually m making the tr taking the trouble mm. to actually make this uh, little film? Because there's more to it than we thought there uh, was. There's a lot more to it than we thought there was. Mm. But when I was later looking, sort of trying to think of ways of concocting this film, I took another look online about what was available about that area. And I looked on Megalithic Portal, and there it said... Uh, settlement, mm -hmm. bang on the place where we were looking. I thought, oh, settlement, that's boring. And I didn't look any further properly. But subsequent to that, I looked on the Ordnance Survey edition, you know, of that, of that area, and found another little dot with it where we were. And I clicked on that, and that said, Defended Settlement. Mm. Now, the funny thing is, a few weeks before, we'd been up to Crickley Hill, in Gloucestershire, um, which is a defended causewayed enclosure, which was the site of the first battle, we are told. The first uh, known battle. First known Britain, battle yeah. uh, in, in Britain. And we were very conscious when we went up there that it was a defended place. Yes. And so in that moment, a little penny dropped that, that what we'd been looking at did have some significance as far as we were concerned. Mm. But it, it, the, the, the thing to take on board here is that we saw what looked like a henge. It still looks like a hengiform structure in the landscape, but there is nowhere, absolutely nowhere, in any of the literature does it mention anything hengiform. It is hengiform. Nobody says it. It says defended settlement. We were not looking for anything. If you'd looked for something in any of the textbooks, that what, you, what adjective could you apply to that, or what noun could you apply to that, defended settlement would be, wouldn't even be there. Mm would not even be there. We stumbled across it by chance in the first place and then stumbled across the uh, the defended settlement almost by chance. It's um, it's extraordinary, really. Yeah, so a happy accident, kind of, but with this lesson in it, you know, to... Don't 
put things aside because it's not quite what you expected to be there. Have a mm. look anyway, and you might be surprised. Mm. So, the thing is, um, nobody has excavated there. So nobody really knows what's going on there. It has been compared to other sites in Derbyshire by you know local archaeologists and so on mm. and so forth. But that's all we've got. So mm. we've still got the possibility of a very important little uh, discovery uh, there. It's possible. And, uh, and we wait for further news. In the meantime, disappointed of, <laughs> gloss of uh, Derbyshire, <laughs> we were a little bit sort of uh, disappointed, but we knew where we could find a hinge, didn't we? We did, we did. We did. So, to console ourselves, we went off and found it. Yes, we did. So uh, th that's it. That's it. we're done henge hunting uh, for today. Yeah, I've done henge hunting yeah. for the day. Um, we found a big one, but that wasn't hard. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're certainly inconclusive as to our primary objective, which was to find a brand new henge that nobody else had seen or thought of before. Tantalising. Um, Failed. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. You can call it tantalising. Fun. It fun, nonetheless. <laughs> I say, uh, open the gate, would you? Certainly. <laughs> After you, old boy. Oh, thank you. Fun <laughs> day with the cows, then. Eh?